Welcome back. We hope you're ready for your entree. So we're going to do milk braised pork shoulder with brown butter spaghetti squash and pepitas and a little bit of pecorino cream. First, we're going to start with the spaghetti squash. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to make pasta from squash. And I'm just going to hollow it out. And the reason why I cut it down the middle like that instead of lengthwise is because the way that the spaghetti squash actually grows is it grows in these outer rings. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually cook this and then we're going to fork it so that it'll have nice long strands like angel hair spaghetti. So one of the elements of the uh, dish is a pecorino cream and actually the heat of the blender from the friction will melt the cheese and create a really nice homogenous mixture. So we're going to get this going. What we want to do is reach 135 degrees. And we're using an infrared thermometer to do that. So I'll pour it out. You can see the texture of it. It's, it's really kind of interesting. And that's just from the milk and the, the cheese melting. And then we'll just ice it down and allow it to cool. We have uh, our, our cured piece of uh, pork shoulder. We've actually taken uh, salt and sugar and uh, rubbed it on it and let it sit for a day and a half. And then we've slowly cooked it in milk at 150 degrees for 14 hours. And then now I'm just going to roast it slightly to put a little caramelization, caramelize the natural sugars in the meat and also some of the, the lactic sugars as well that were picked up during the braising process. Normally you would sear first and then cover with a liquid and then braise for many hours. We're actually going to cook it uh, submerged in the liquid for many hours and then finish the caramelization on the pickup. You achieve the nice soft texture of the braised meat, but then you also get the crispy, crunchy, caramelized uh, Millard reaction. So one last element, uh, again to add some texture, some freshness, is uh, a little bit of romaine. And we're not going to just whack up some romaine, we're going to use both the ribs and the leaves. And really nice romaine, almost has a light bitter note to it, so that'll help balance the sweetness of the squash, as well as all those rich flavors of the butter and the pecorino cream. And that will go, we'll mix in with the squash, and then we're going to use the ribs, which are really nice and crunchy, to make a little salad to finish. While I'm doing that, Mike's going to show you the technique here on the squash. So basically, we, we cooked it now, we've steamed it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and now we're just going to lightly flake the actual spaghetti. So we really just want to get all the nice little strands out, and we're being gentle, and we get our nice little strands of spaghetti squash. I'm gonna add the spaghetti squash to the pan and I'm gonna start to warm it up. Some of the, the brown butter sauce. These are our pepitas that we toasted. And again, you know, being a squash seed, just kind of bringing it back to the whole squash. We like the pepitas a little bit better. The, the notes when you toast them are really great. So it just gets a rough chop. And again, adds texture, nice crunch. And uh, they almost have a really nutty nutty characteristic to them. I'm going to fold in the actual leaves as if it were pasta. Put a nice dollop of the pecorino cream on the plate. Take my fork here and in true Italian fashion. You ready? I'm ready. So we're going to slice, we slice this beautiful piece of braised pork shoulder. Mike's finishing with the wilted romaine leaves. Here's the salad of the ribs. And then just some pepitas. Just to add, again, that textural crunch and another part of the squash. This is our milk braised pork shoulder. With brown butter spaghetti squash. Pecorino cream. And pepitas. Trencherman, 2013. We just wanted to say thank you for letting us come here and cook for you this evening. We've had a great time. We'd love for you to come and visit us. 2039 West North Avenue in Chicago's Hooker Park, where we're making familiar flavors and presenting them unexpectedly.